Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Castle Perfect, and I am here to tell you that as of today, May 10th, we have a brand new 7-star raid boss coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This time around, we're dealing with none other than the Water and Fairy type starter Pokemon from Generation 7, Primarina. This event runs from today, May 10th, until Sunday, May 12th, and makes a return on May 17th until May 19th. Also, keep in mind that you can keep playing this event over and over again as long as you do not connect to the internet after acquiring this event. Now that we have the formalities out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the details of this event. So, Primarina comes at level 100, has its stereotyping set to Fairy, meaning it's weak to Steel and Poison type attacks. Its moves are Moonblast, Sparkling, Aria, Sing, Psychic, and has two more additional moves which are Encore and Surf. This Primarina has its hidden ability set to Liquid Voice, making all sound-based moves become Water-type moves. For example, Hyper Voice is a Normal-type move that becomes a Water-type move if Primarina with, it, with its hidden ability were to use it. Furthermore, its ability is set to Modest, and as always, this Pokemon is Shiny Locked, meaning there is a zero chance that you can encounter this Pokemon in its Shiny form from these raids. And last but not least, we can only catch one Primarina per save file, and thankfully this Pokemon has a 3% chance of dropping Herba Mystica. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the counters that you can use for this specific Pokemon. I have selected two very specific Pokemon that are very useful versus Primarina in the 7-star raid event. Now, for starters, uh, Goldengo is my first pick at level 100 with its stereotype set to Steel. It's holding the Shell Bell item uh, because it gains sustainability that way and it recovers quite a, a lot of HP throughout the battle by dealing damage. Now, its moves are going to be Nasty Plot, Light Screen, Mega Brain, and Flash Cannon. Um, its ability is going to be set to good as gold, of course, because that's the one and only ability that this Pokemon has. Uh, its EV spread are going to be 252 in Special Defense and 252 in HP, with its uh, nature set to Calm, preferably, or you can also choose Modest, but I would actually advise against uh, that. So my second pick is going to be Vaporeon at level 100 with its stereotyping set to steel and holding the Shell Bell item um, just like Goldango for sustainability. Its moves are Terra Blast, Mud Slap, Calm Mind and Fake Tears. Terra Blast because it becomes a steel type move after you terrestrialize and it hits for super effective damage and it also becomes Stab after you terrestrialize of course. Mud Slap is going to be the move, your primary move to build up some energy to terrestrialize. Calm Mind is going to be your savior to be able to sustain uh, uh, enough damage to survive until the very end of the battle and fake tears is going to help the NPCs and the other players that you play with to deal more damage to the Primarina if those are special attackers but it's also beneficial to you because you're going to be hitting it on its special defense side with Terra Blast. Its ability is going to be Water Absorb for obvious reasons, I mean Primarina is a water type Pokemon with three separate water type attacks that are actually going to end up healing you instead of damaging you, which is absolutely fantastic. And then its nature is going to be set to Modest with an EV spread of 252 on Special Attack and 252 on HP. Alright, so enough said, let's go ahead and jump immediately into the demonstration. I'm going to show you two clips, one with Vaporeon and one with Goldengo. And in both clips, you can clearly see what to do, what not to do, and just exactly how to defeat these Pokemon. 